thing to do. On a cold, wet, snowy, foggy summer night in London. I see you visited. Was to take the underground train, the tube train, to the west end of London, to the area called Soho, which was slightly disreputable. It was about one square mile filled with little music bars, clubs, coffee houses, and cabarets. My favorite spot was a little jazz joint. <laughs> now to get into this club, you had to take two steps down, both physically and socially. I was there one night, and a man jumped up on stage for no apparent reason, with just two empty hands and a piece of tin. And he stood in the center of that stage and started to break that thread into little pieces. Now, I had no idea what he was doing. Neither did the band. I know, because they started to leave. Till finally there was just one man left wailing on a saxophone, and that man dressed in black, breaking that thread into maybe 13 or 14, 13 pieces. <laughs> what he did next, I'll never forget. He took just one thread and rolled the remainder into a ball and applied just a touch of saliva. He gave it a squeeze. Believe it or not, it remains suspended just like that. He had made a spitball for my entertainment pleasure. Was astounded, unlike this bloody audience, when he did this. 